Okay, let me explain how this might work. Uh, building off of your research questions, this is how an interview protocol for the principal might look. Uh, to begin, your guiding research question is, how have the various instructional leadership methods influenced one Arizona school in raising its AIMS test scores from failing to an A label? And then underneath those, we have our three sub-research questions. The first one, who was the instructional leadership distributed amongst in this K through five school between, and you insert the years here. Research question two, what were the instructional leadership practices demonstrated by each of these individuals or teams of individuals? Go ahead and delete that typo right there. And research question three, how did these instructional leadership practices influence the AIMS scores? Then, flowing from each one of these research questions, one, two, and three, which are embedded in this overall research question, you have your interview questions. So, this entire protocol would be what you would ask the principal. Um, you will need to create the ones that are exactly identical to this, but adapted for the teachers and the instructional assistant and the PTO president. But let me show you how this works. So, research question one, who is instructional leadership distributed amongst? So you would first lead in with that question. Who were the individuals at this school that shared, and I should have a D on it, this is past tense, shared instructional leadership? The principal would then answer that question, and you would record, maybe take a few notes um, of what they might say. Then, after they answer that question, you would get specific. What was the principal's role as an instructional leader and you're asking the principal that so that's okay then you go to the next one what was the teacher's role as an instructional leader and then what was the instructional assistant's role as an instructional leader and what was the PTO president's role as an instructional leader then you would move on to what groups at this school were involved in instructional leadership and this is where the professional learning communities come in so how were professional learning communities involved in instructional leadership how were parent groups involved? And how were other groups involved in instructional leadership? So essentially what you've done is you've asked the open-ended question, then you've asked more specifically about the principal's role in instructional leadership, the teachers, the assistants, and the PTO presidents. Then you've talked about groups, professional learning communities, parent groups, and other groups. Then you would move on to interview question, set of questions two, which aligns with research question two. What were the instructional leadership practices demonstrated by each of these individuals or teams of individuals? Now remember this part at the end because I have not added it for you. I'm going to go highlight it now because you'll need to add those questions. So the interview questions would go like this. What were the, and remember, this entire protocol is just for the principal. You'll need to make separate ones using this same table for the teachers, the instructional assistant, and the PTO president. So now we're asking the what questions. What were the actual instructional leadership practices? And so you would ask that. What were the instructional leadership practices that you, as the principal, demonstrated? Because we're talking to the principal. They would answer that open-ended. And then you would ask some probe questions. How did you set school goals? These questions, these probe questions, follow the PEMRIS model. So that actually comes from right here, from this article. And let me see if I can pull it down a little bit so you can see it. It's, this model is located in the Assessing Principal Instructional Management Rating Scale, a meta-analysis of reliability of studies, um, which is in the resources folder on your DCNET uh, learner dissertation page. So you have these three categories that form the PIMRS model, and you have defining, school, defining the school mission, managing instructional programs, developing school learning climates, and each one of these subcategories is where we are getting the probe questions. So you have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not all of these will apply to all the people you're interviewing. Most of these apply to the principal. So the principal would be asked probe questions about each one of these. But then when you go on to the next protocol for a teacher, they may not, for example, be involved in providing incentives for teachers. So we will leave that one out. And I'll show you how that works here on our, our interview protocol sample.
So back to the principle, we're asking what questions, what are instructional leadership practices? So first probe, how do you set the school goals? And as you remember, that's this right here. How did you frame the school goals? So we should actually even change that to be more specific. How did you frame instead of set? We want to be frame the school goals. And you'll want to go ahead and make sure that you edit that for all the rest because I'm not going to take time to do that right now. Then you would move on to how did you communicate school goals? And then again, that goes back to the next one, communicating school goals. And we'll go through all of them. I'm ignoring these red portions right now, but I'll come back to those. You continue through all of these, which is going along with each one of the probes. And then you get down to this part. Let me get a space here so we have some better continuity. You would move on and ask the same set of questions to the teachers. About the teachers, rather, not to the teachers, still talking to the principal. What were the instructional leadership practices that the teachers demonstrated? Probe. How did the teachers help set the school goals? Or rather, we need to change that, right, to frame, so go back and do that. How did the teachers help communicate the school goals? And then so on and so forth. Then you would ask the principal, what were the instructional leadership practices that the instructional assistants demonstrated? Go through all the probe questions. Same thing for the PTO president. And then here at the end, you'll need to do the same set of questions for the groups, the groups that were mentioned in research question one to the left over here. Remember we had some groups, professional learning community. So you would start with, you know, the groups overall question and then you would have each one of set of questions with the probes for these groups. Okay, so add those on to the end here. So really research question two has the most in-depth questions for each one. Research question three is about how, so we went from who, what, and how, how did these instructional leadership practices influence the AIM scores? So rather than putting a whole separate uh, column here, of those same questions over and over again, which the question, the main question underneath this uh, research question as an interview question is, how do you believe this instructional leadership practice may have influenced the AIM scores? This moves over to here. So as you're asking these questions, so for example, again, we're talking to the principal, what were the instructional leadership practices that you as the principal demonstrated? They answer open-ended. Then the probe question, how did you frame the school goals? talking to the principal, they answer. Then we ask them, how do you believe this instructional leadership practice may have influenced the AIM scores? We're specifically asking them about framing school goals. How might that have influenced the AIM, school, uh, AIM scores? Then we're going on to the next probe question. And so, how did you communicate school goals? And then we ask them the question again. So as you are asking these probe questions, after each probe question, you're gonna ask this red one. I didn't go ahead and insert all of those because it would have been really tedious, but you can go ahead and do that if you want. Even make them red. So after each probe question, and then you move on to the teachers, the same thing. How did the teachers help set goals? And then you'd insert that red question here again. It would say, how do you believe that this instructional leadership practice in influenced aims? And that, in that uh, case, we're asking the principal how they believe the teachers setting school goals, if they did, um, how it influenced the AIM scores, okay? So this should give you a good idea of how to set this up. This is one for the principal. You'll need to make, uh, how many more do we have of these? One for the teacher, two, instructional assistant, and PTO president, following the same pattern. And then go ahead and send it back to me, and I will uh, check it out and make sure everything looks aligned. Thanks so much.